Now you can't have it all your own way. We're going to get good days and we're going to get bad days. But have I got a motor home for you to have when you're having a bad day? Take a look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My life depends on trying to figure a scribble I could let loose Dodging the dribble that they trying to throw my way I think I figured that them figures out to get you Let them pull the strings that trigger what you say Think it's difficult to get out on my brain I wish life went in any other way But it's all side roads to nowhere And I can find a map that seemed to mark my place My heart frigid when it sit inside that cold air That exists between our lack to say Bailey Autograph Approach 796. It's a six berth motorhome with six belted seats. It's weighing in at 4,250 kilograms, so you will need a C1 license to drive it. And it's just under eight meters long. So let's have a look at this bad boy. So first thing we've got here is our water fill. Um, and what you can do with your water fill, you can get one of these connectors, which you put in, and then you can connect up to a hose or you can do the conventional caravan way where you've got your aqua roll and you've got your pump there where you can fill up your fresh water tank so let's put some power into the van so there we go we've got power moving along we have the cassette toilet flue for our heating system and then here we have the garage and then moving along around the back we do have a bike rack and then we also have a reversing camera and then again here's the other side of the garage which goes all the way through we have outside plug vents for our fridge and then we've got a gas, which I'll switch the gas on. Now if you have changed your bottles over, you have got a button here which you must press in for three or four seconds. And then this fan has a huge warning. Shall we go have a look inside? Right, I'll tell you what we'll do first of all. I'll just quickly show the control panel. Here's a control panel, we'll switch that off. And then here we've got our lights. Let's get some lights on. Outside awning. And then this is our pump for operating the water system. And then you've got your various scrolls through water levels, waste levels. Right, so let's have a look at this van. And this van just keeps going and going. So as you can see, it's your U-shaped lounge at the back, which then pulls out both sides, which makes up a double bed. And then we've got a large cupboard wardrobe actually area and then we have our microwave and large fridge freezer as you can see and then we have a hobs grill oven and then a sink good size prep area and then inside a bathroom of toilet and separate shower and then as we move to the front now here we've got our dinette area with four belted seats here in the back obviously you've got your two at the front and then we have the drop down bed press the button in and there we go we've got the drop down bed so we have a good family size six berth motor home with plenty of room just go to the cab As you can see it's got a reversing camera it's on a Peugeot boxer and then we have the media pack on there with air conditioning and it's a six speed shall we set this fan up right so first of all we've put a gas on let's get some gas coming through so there we go we've got the gas coming through again if you, if you have changed your gas bottles over just allow three or four seconds for the gas to come through the furthest one over there is a hot plate and again that'll only work when we have a hookup in the van and then we do have our grill oven at the bottom and um, why i'm up here 
we do have a microwave and then we've also got our fridge now the fridge is three-way so because we've got a hookup in we can go into electric we do have leisure battery for when we're driving along um, so the engine um, keeps the leisure battery charged up with the alternator and then we have a gas now to operate the gas we we'll turn it to the gas we hold in and we press the igniter I don't know if you hear that that's lit and then you can see the little dial there that's going up into the green so we know we're lit and I'll take my finger off and there's our gas we know the drill now so we filled up the fresh water tank what we've got to do is we've got to transfer some water into the hot water tank known as priming up so we switch a pump on and then I open the taps now that won't happen straight away it does roughly take about two minutes and um, to prime up so you will hear the pump going and then after about a minute water will start to come through so fresh water is going into the hot water tank it's filling up and it's pushing water out and then we after two minutes it then will start to come out like so and then you can go into the bathroom and just open, slowly open the taps in the bathroom just to get rid of any air so now we're primed up now so we want to use the hot water and the heating system so here's our heating system here it's the Aldi and switched it on and it's quite a simple system to do we go to menu now just before we go to menu that's telling us the temperature in the van 16.5 and then that's telling us there we have a hook up in the van so if we press the menu top one I've set it there at 30 degrees the shower in sorry hot water I'll put the hot water on full now we can either use electric or gas so if we want to use electric I just press the plus one kilowatt two kilowatt or three kilowatt and if I want to use the gas I just put the gas on nice simple easy to use system basically as you've just seen nice easy van to set up basically um, we've primed up the gas we've primed the water up um, we've switched the hot water and the heating on and that's it go and enjoy your holidays basically so I'm going to show you where everything is so if I start here and work my way back you can see everything so just below here we have our consumer unit so they're all our 230 trips and then just below we have our 12 volt fuses which are all labelled up and then I'll show you here round about here I think yes let me just move that so what we've got here we've got our leisure batteries so here are the leisure batteries it has got two leisure batteries as you can see and it has also got a solar panel on the roof so I'm just going to show you Ooh, how cool is this watch this you're on you're off you're on you're off you're on you're on you're all on you're all off you're all on how good's that so wax so i can just show you the solar panel the solar panel's in the roof but that's where the charger is there um, and it hooks up to both the um, vehicle battery and also the leisure battery you're off you're on and then if i just start to make my way back here we have another hatch there so that's our fresh water tank and then you probably won't see this but just down to um, my right there is a bung in there an orange bung where you can drain down the fresh water tank we have had to put the coverings down because it says we've thrown it down outside we don't want to get the carpets dirty and then here is our waste we did put a heating on earlier on and the way it works is a little bit like radiators in your house so there's one heating there you've got another one in the bathroom and then you have got them behind the cushions all around the van and then I'm just going to show you under here so here's our Aldi hot water system there now can you just see the yellow lever over there that's to drain down this system so all I need to do to drain it down lift it up 
and that drains down the heating systems, the hot water system. Now, if you're not using your fan, um, just drain it down. It's just good habits. It get rid of, gets rid of any stagnant water. Um, and then obviously when you're filling back up again, make sure you have put the drain plug back down again to fill up. So another thing I need to show you as well, massive lockers all around the van. So there's plenty of storage. And then you have got your fly screens in your blinds. And there's loads and loads of lighting all the way around as well. And let's say you've got good storage here. A couple of things I haven't shown you. I wanted to show you the water pump actually, but because the weather's so bad, I can't show you, but I will show you where it's located. And I'll also show you the waste drain off as well. Because we've done the fresh water, we've done our hot water drain off. So we've just got now our waste drain off. So we'll have to go outside. And I'll quickly show you this. So just below here, that's our waste. Just turn and that'll empty any waste out. Now our pump, what you'll see is a black box here and it's got four screws in. So if you undo the four screws, this box will drop down and the pump is situated underneath the van there. Like I say, it's a bit of a shame because it's raining. I would have liked to show you, but that's where your pump is. Bailey Approach 796. It's a big van. It's a good family van. It's plenty of room, plenty of storage, and this is a nice van. So whether it's raining or it's not, I'm quite happy to be in it. My life depends on trying to figure a scribble I could let loose. Dodging the dribble that they trying to throw my way. I think I figured that them figures out to get you. Let them pull the strings that trigger what you say. Think it's difficult to get out on my brain. I wish life went in any other way, but it's all side roads to nowhere.